So if you're wondering how to have silver, I highly encourage you to be very selective about what gear you're rolling up, roll up your gear only during events, and to try to aim for having 25 million per artifact event before going in. The last big thing that I have to recommend to you guys that I do is take my advice with a grain of salt. I'm just showing you how I do it. If you want to manage gear the way that I do, this is what you should do. This is what's been working for me for the past five plus years, and I've been able to conquer all the content that I've come across, and this hasn't been an issue for me. So one of my subscribers asked me, how do you do the artifact enhancement events? How do you complete artifact enhancement events? So, But I think a lot of it comes from preparation. That's probably going to be like the main point of this entire video. You just need to prepare for it. And there are different things that I do personally that I don't ever really think about it. It's just something that happened naturally over my time playing raid, right? So to, to start out, what I like to do is keep like a baseline silver amount that I, I like to keep just ready to go at all times. And it's 25 million silver. Somewhere between 20 to 25 million silver is what you're going to need to complete an entire artifact enhancement event. Do not take that as fact. That's just an educated guess, an educated feeling. That's just, you know, my gut instinct feeling. It could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but 25 million is right around the sweet point that I need to complete an entire artifact enhancement event. So the question is, how do you get 25 million silver? There's a few things that I do that I'm gonna dive into right here. So the first thing that I like to do, and probably one of the best things you can do, this is not just to get the silver, but for management of gear altogether, right? And it is taking care of gear right when you get it. So a lot of people, self-included, what do we do? We get some gear and we just click claim and let it go straight to our uh, inventory, our, our um, uh, gear inventory. But what you want to do is just sell it right when you see it. Because if you take care of your gear right as you get it, it doesn't pile up. You don't have to worry about hitting the cap. You don't have to worry about sorting through your gear because gear cleanses take a very long time to do. If you want to do a proper in-depth advanced gear cleanse, it's gonna take a really long time. But if you take your time piece by piece, every single time you see a piece of gear, it becomes a lighter load. It's the same thing. If you're cleaning up around the house, instead of just leaving a bottle or a cup on the side, put it away in the dishwasher right when you're done with it. You don't have to worry about it, right? Put it away right when you get it. So this, I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay, well, I'm not gonna keep it. I'm not gonna roll it, I'm not gonna sell it. Crit damage, stone skin, defense, accuracy, resistance. This is okay ish it's very niche now i don't think it's particularly something that i would keep i would like crit damage but i would like it on damage style uh gear this might be a good filler piece but then again look at the substats accuracy resistance doesn't really make sense defense if i rolled the triple that would be cool but i'm not going to keep it i'm not going to find out i'm not going to spend the silver that's the other piece of the puzzle here do not spend silver if you do not need to spend silver if you're free to play or if you're a low spender and you're trying to be as efficient as possible, I highly encourage you, I strongly encourage you to not spend silver if you don't need to spend silver. This is why I'm so stringent. If you've seen my videos talking about how I do gear cleanses, a lot of you guys, many of you guys, don't agree with it. I'm not saying every single one of you guys are doing this, but some of you guys don't see. I have to be very particular about the gear that I roll up. So I'm not going to roll up this gear or that last piece of glove that I just found, I'm not going to spend the silver to find out if it's going to be worth it keeping it or not. I'm going to get rid of it right away. I'm not going to spend the silver on it because I don't need to. On the subject of spending silver, the best thing to do is only do upgrades for gear. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. You don't want to wait, but this is wait Shadow Legends, right? You need to wait if you want to be completely efficient. And so the way that we do that is by only doing it during events. This is something that could be promising. It could be a quadruple roll. So I'm going to keep it. This is something I'd, I'd find out. Now, when it comes to upgrading this specific piece, uh, the specific pieces of gear that you get, and I'm gonna take care of this right now, I don't keep anything that is blue because again, hearkening back to only spending the silver on the things that I know that I'm going to want to keep long term. I don't think about just what's happening in the moment or next week or next month. I'm thinking about next year. 
And this is how you have to manage your gear. No bars, I'm not a rapper. When it comes to looking at the pieces of gear that I'm going to upgrade, let's just say like I, I look at this and I'm like, all right, well, this is something that I'd, I'd like to uh, upgrade and find out, right? So when you when it comes to, and this is the next piece of, piece of advice, when it does come to finding the specific pieces of gear that you want to upgrade and find out if you want to keep it, you need to first figure out how you're going to manage your roles, right? So you want to come in with a plan. Me, I'm on my wife's account right now. This is going to be something that I would only keep if I roll a double, right? If I roll one one ones, I'm not going to keep it. Ideally, I would hit doubles on speed. No, the most ideal situation is to hit a triple on something like speed or crit damage. I don't care about resistance. There's nothing wrong with resistance. You could always benefit from having resistance, but ideally, I don't get one one ones. The other component, um, just to uh, explicitly state this. When you're rolling gear, you have to know when you want to stop rolling it up and just sell it. Here I have a decision to make. Do I spend the silver to upgrade this to 12 to see if it hits speed or do I sell it? Well, I think it could be worth finding out if this is going to be a double. And boom, it hit a double. Now I know I'm going to keep this. Attack percent on a crit rate set. It's got two double flats. I'm not even going to spend the silver to roll it up and find out. I'm going to get rid of it. In fact, what I like to do is just this, right? Anything rolling to four, because of where my wife's account is right now, I'm going to just sell it. She doesn't play, I just run her account every now and then, but I just happen to be on it because I have to do clan boss pretty soon. Right now I'm keeping five to six star gear, but I'm still not keeping anything from gray to blue rarities, I'm not keeping that. But for epics, what I like to do also is because again, hearkening back to how I have to be extremely strict with my gear and how I have to be very particular about the type of gear that I'm rolling up, I want it to be perfect, especially in a world where I'm not spending any money and silver is relatively hard to come by. I want to make sure that if I'm rolling gear up, it's gear that I'm going to keep. I don't like anything that has anything with single flats on it, except for the hard to get sets, I'm going to sell. I'm not going to keep it. I don't care what it is. I'm going to get rid of it, right? I don't even look, I don't sit there and think about it. Now, sometimes when I'm doing gear cleanses and you've probably seen the video, I'm doing it the same the same thing for HP, flat, flat attack and flat defense. You probably see me like go back and forth in my head, like, oh, maybe I should keep it, maybe I should sell it, or maybe I should find out. The thing about that is you don't wanna to spend too much time thinking about it, right? Because if you knew that there was a piece of gear that you would take up to 16, you would jump on it right then and there. You wouldn't have to think twice about it. So for an example, looking at this, I'm kind of on the fence. Do I bring this up to 16 or do I sell it? That instance right there of me thinking about whether I want to sell it or not is an indicator that you should just automatically sell it. Now, again, take my advice with a grain of salt. I'm just showing you how I do it. I'm not telling you that this is, I know I just said you should, but if you wanna manage gear the way that I do, this is what you should do if you want to be like me. But I'm not telling you guys to be like me. Not everybody is willing to be super strict with their gear the way that I am. So those are huge disclaimers that I need to reiterate and emphasize so you guys don't get mad at me or be like, oh, well, hell Hades or Ash or this guy does things differently. That's good, that's great for them. That's how they wanna run their accounts totally fine. This is how I'm doing it. This is what's been working for me for the past five plus years. And I've been able to conquer all the content that I've come across. And this hasn't been an issue for me. I've never sold a piece of gear and was like, oh, I wish I still had that. No, I would sell this on my account, but because this is my wife's account and because speed gear is in high demand for a lot of champions, I'm going to keep it. I would roll this up to eight and see where it lands. If I get a double on speed, it's something that I might keep. We got a double on crit rate. The thing about crit rate sets, I don't like them. I don't think a champion should be in a full crit rate set. I think you should just get your crit rate from other areas. This is an HP percent boot with weird substats. I'm not even gonna spend the time or the energy or the silver to go ahead and roll it up. So. When you manage your gear on a regular basis, assuming you're not running multiple accounts like I do, this is a really good way to do it. So you just, as soon as you get the gear, you sort through it, you don't let it stack. I like to put myself in situations where I'm forced to either get good gear or I'm forced to work really hard at that one specific area. It all kind of goes hand in hand, right? For an example, 
Artak, I need a regen set. I'm forced to get a really good regen set. And because I'm forced to get a really good regen set, I'm also forced to work on my Fire Knight hard team. A lot of people always ask like, oh, I don't know what to do next, right? Well, this could be a very good guide for you to determine what it is exactly that you need. Remember, half of the game is gear. If I know that I'm struggling in getting specific pieces of gear for Artak, then I know, okay, I need to work on my Fire Knight. What in my Fire Knight do I need to work on? Well, I need to work on... I don't know, getting the shield down. All right, so how can I get the shield down? Well, I need multi-hitters, so I need to go faster. So, okay, well, we can do Deacon in the speed lean. And he's got turn meter control. Make sure he's going fast. Cold Heart has quad hit on her A1. Nuts got a triple hit on his A1 and his A3. Oh, guess what? They're also enemy max HP moves. This is a team right here, right? You just put these guys together, put them in a team. You got decreased defense. What else am I missing? Probably weaken. Or if you're hitting hard enough with the gear, then you could throw in another another cold heart. Boom, Fire Knight 20, done. So if you're wondering how to have silver, I highly encourage you to be very selective about what gear you're rolling up. Roll up your gear only during events. And to try to aim for having 25 million per artifact event before going in. The more you have, the better. The last big thing that I have to recommend to you guys that I do is when I know that I'm going to take a piece of gear to 16 and I know for sure that, that, that it's going to be something that I'm going to keep for a long time, but I don't immediately need it right away, I do not roll it up to 16 right away. I roll it up to 15. I know that I'm going to keep this. I know that in the future, one of my champions is going to need it, but I don't roll it up right away. What do I do? I roll it up to 15. Because as soon as I roll it up to 15 and I leave it there, assuming I don't need it immediately, like it's not going to help me complete a specific area this instant, I'm going to leave it right here. That way, when an artifact enhancement comes around, from 15 to 16, I don't have to spend that much silver. It's already set and ready to go. Take a little love, show you what my booty do. Boy, turn around, let me hit it from the back. Yeah, I know how you